Hi, I'm Rune Guerra, and today we want to show you how the code sharing works with Code Exchange. So we will do a simple exercise where we'll just change one file in the that you can see here in the sources tab to an, another revision. So um, we will use the file here in the sources directory. Let's just go down so that you see the revision number of the file that we want to change. So it's this rocker.java, which is here in revision 28. And we want to do a quick change on it. So if you click on the file, what I will do is to change here the level from hard, meaning the variable, to smooth. So how to do that? So very easy. You go to the overview page of your project and use the code X dashboard here and right click on the repository link, copy the shortcut and go to the developer studio. To connect to Subversion system you need a client. So in my case I used the well-known sub Clips project, so you can very easily get it um, by searching on Google for it. So I just type in subclips, and it's actually the first hyperlink that you get. So you go to this page, and under download and install, you will find the descriptions on how to install it on your system. So to keep this short, I already installed it here. And uh, the next thing we will do is to create a new project. So I go here, File, New, selecting Other in Developer Studio, and scroll down to this SVN directory and click on Checkout Projects from SVN. You remember we just copied the hyperlink into the uh, clipboard. So I want to create a new repository location. Click here on Next, paste the URL, and click on Next. And now you see that you will get the folder. So we will select this SAP Mentors Rock directory, clicking on Next. And we will check it out as a new project in the workspace. And now what the system does, it gets it retrieves all the uh, code from the subversion system. And we will now have a look and change the file that we just looked at at the beginning. So. I will open this rocker.java file. And change the default level here from hard to smooth. Save the file. And you will notice here those stars here. This means that this will now be updated. And what I'll do now is to right click on this directory select here team and simply click on commit to update the changes to the subversion system so you can add a comment here click on OK and the system will now submit the changes to the subversion system of Code Exchange, and if we go now to the Code Exchange homepage and look into the sources directory, you see already here that we have now instead of revision 28, 29, and that's mainly it. So all other changes you can do in a uh, similar way. Um, by just using a, a client, a subversion client. I used one here in the developer studio and um, you can do any other changes accordingly to what I just showed you. 
So, thanks and uh, hope this was useful to you. Um, in case you need more information and want to stay tuned, just have a look at the SDN homepage landing page or the SDN code exchange landing page listed here. Or fo follow us on, on Twitter, the user SAP Code Exchange, or my Twitter user. And if you want to post questions or comments on Twitter, just use the hashtag SAP Code Exchange. Thanks a lot, and hope to see you soon. Bye.